Hamburg has a rich tennis history, and at the German Tennis Championships 2016, players descended on the event, hoping to make their mark this year. Amongst them were two 17-year-old juniors given wild cards to the main draw, and both were eager to enjoy the challenge. I'm a big fan of giving the youngsters a chance to get the experience. You see that there's still a long, long way to go to be part of the men's tour, and for those guys, I hope it's a great experience. It is like a dream for me to play here, and now it, it came true, so I think it's a big step, so it's my first experience for a so big crowd, and yeah, I think it's a really great experience for me. I was surprised, I didn't think that I would get a white card, I mean, I was so happy. Those are the experience you need, you know, all the young guys need to get the chance and we have to support them and they're just going to get better by competing with better players. You have to climb up the ladder step by step each tournament you play and that's the only way we have. Marvin Muller gained invaluable experience during his first round defeat to Gregor Zimler. <laughs> Louis Vessels will never forget his week in Hamburg. Victory over Steven Diaz saw the teenager seal his first ATP World Tour match win. I don't know how to describe it today. <laughs> I mean, I'm feeling really good today. Played an amazing match. I think my best match of the life. <laughs> I actually don't know what to say today. I'm just happy about the match today. First match in the ATP Tour main draw and <laughs> I won it. Magical memories made to last. All part of a very special week in Germany. The youngsters weren't the only happy ones in Hamburg. Soaking up the sights were double stars Marius Fristenberg and Colin Fleming. It's my second time here and it's a beautiful city, good memories of, of coming the last time and uh, nice to, to come out this morning with, with Marius and, and see some of the city. So, uh, you know, we're having a great week so far. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. Historical Hamburg is amazing. It's really a historical city and uh, on the other hand we have a totally new area, lake area over there. It's very nice, very good restaurants. My wife is not here but she really regretted it because she loves Hamburg as well. We played one week before, uh, a few few years ago and it was, uh, I think we've erased it from our memories. It was a bit of a disaster. Um, so it was great to get a first round win yesterday and sort of put that ghost to bed and, and hopefully we can uh, combine and, and be a, a sort of a, a good team uh, in the future. We, we want to play some, some tournaments together and it's been a great start here. Could you send it to me? If we have a chance, we have a day off like today, we're going to for sure see some nice things. Back on site and there was plenty of focus on a homegrown hero. Last year's winner of the ATP Star of Tomorrow Award, presented by Emirates, Alexander Zverev. Obviously, everybody wants to see a German winner, and everybody wants to see, you know, a German finalist as well. But we always had great players in Germany, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think now the German tennis, I think a lot of young guys are coming through quite well, and uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes in the future for German tennis. I love this city. This is the greatest city for me in the world. So, you know, I always love coming back. I always love visiting my parents and always, you know, stay at, at the bed where I grew up. So, you know, this city, this city has really been, been amazing to me. A city and a tournament to savor. But just who would be leaving Hamburg with the trophy this year? Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, Clay Fever. We're in Gestad, Kitzbühel and Umag. And the hard court summer is here, with the City Open raising the curtain in Washington. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.